let's talk about let's make sure we talk about religion and politics the whole time. Well, no. you just said you just said that live on air, Joe. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Simon No Channelman. Uh, in my living room today, uh, we're going to talk about religion and politics <laughs> in Japan. The whole, and the whole chat. The whole chat. Tokyo Joe Army is here. Hello, Tokyo Joe Army. Um, welcome to, right. to 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 my my living room. I hope you like it. It's it's uh, it's not been changed since about 1965. So, <laughs> Nosh abroad. Nosh abroad is asleep. Wake up. Tabby vlogs. I know it's like four thirty a.m. in in Los Angeles, but you're doing very well. Thank you. Um, excuse me. I, uh, you know, I got a bag of pretzels too. Uh, rolled gold pretzels that stick kind. Can't really see it, but ah, yes. I hope you um, all brought brought snacks, audience. Might be a long one. You made it. I'm. I'm. In, I'm eternally grateful, Nosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you you know Masu and Rina in the comments, and 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 Kennedy. Nice to see you, Kennedy. Kennedy's Talking my big, I think Kennedy's my biggest fan. He's, ah. he's always he's from uh, Ireland, I think. Don't give me kiss me wrong. Yep, Ireland. Ah, yes. Yeah. Slan Slanjavaj. There we go. Uh, uh, Robert, Robert's here. Believe in yourself. That's Robert, my former colleague <laughs> from the Three Old Dudes. Um, you had Nato. You had Nato, Nosh. Good. Good. Uh, I'm glad you're living in Los Angeles. <laughs> Open where, the windows. <laughs> where, is, where is Ireland? Is he joking? I thought he was... No, no, no. no. Ma, 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 that's that's Reno. Where in Ireland, she's asking. Oh, <laughs> like, where? What, what, what is Ireland? <laughs> it, got, it got lost. <laughs> Careful now. Careful now, Kennedy. <laughs> so they got like do you have like three pages of questions for me or do you, do you, do you are you just gonna make them up i'm done i'm just gonna make them up you said free form we're doing free form jazz mate <laughs> oh, of course like i but did you did san you, francisco you, did, if i could talk straight did you do your homework did i do my homework i i kind of did my homework. i had other, <laughs> I had other homework to do i mean um i know you're from tennessee which looks a lot like uh england but on steroids um it's actually, uh, one thing it's not clear, I'm actually not originally from Tennessee. Though. My parents moved there. Uh, I spent the last 25, seven years in Florida, actually. Oh, that's quite a bit different. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's only, the last, only the last three years I spent in Tennessee, which is like my, the, the address I use, say, is my stateside home. You know, I never, I go there to visit, obviously. I don't really live there, but I need a for my bank accounts and stuff, I need like an alternate like stateside address and it's the only one I can use. So I am uh, from Tennessee. I have a Tennessee driver's license because mine expired. My Florida one after, after 10 years expired. So I had to get a license in Tennessee. So you, I you, did. They expire in America. I mean. Uh... At 10 years usually is the, is the max. Well, I think the max that I've seen around is 10 years. Um, so I, I was like 17 years old in my driver's license mm. and I was like close to 30 when I renewed it. So, or mm. Like that, so yes, yeah, yeah. I got it when I was eight, 18 or something. Yeah, so about two years ago, I had a new license, and uh, it was not bad. The uh, military clause, so now it doesn't expire at all. Ah, so as so long as I'm overseas or not in Tennessee, it doesn't expire. But once I move back to Tennessee permanently, which is who knows when that, that would be, I have like 60 days to go back and <laughs> to tell them, Hey, I'm as you, as you shuffle there in your Zimmer frame. <laughs> 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 now the Br British driving licenses, just to sort of, uh, I think, uh, I think when they're lowering you in, in, in into the ground, that's when they expire. <laughs> and I think some states have different ones, but Florida was ten years, and I had to get a new one so I can drive. For military purposes, you need a valid stateside license for operating military vehicles. You know, mm -hmm. so it's kind of interesting. Like I got. A lot of people you know, end up getting waivers and stuff, and or end up losing their license because they don't have a valid license to drive with in the states. Hmm. So always got to make sure you have a valid driving license in the military. So when you when you moved to Japan, uh, when you were transferred to Japan, I say, um, did yeah. you have to go through the whole routine of of, of getting your driver's license, or is there, is there a special dispensation for being military that you you can you can drive freely with your American, or do you have to get all the Japanese one or what? 
Uh, in the military, you get really, uh, they, take, they take care of you very well. Uh, through the military installation, they have a, a one-day class, and you watch a, a video from, like, 1980 uh, <laughs> about the do's and don'ts about driving in Japan. It's really, really old video. You can see, like, you know, Mini Cooper's in the video or something. That's, that's how old it is. <laughs> and uh, you watch the video, and you have, like, a 20-question test, and it's, like, I think it's open book, maybe, too. And uh, it's, it's, like, a two-day, like, I guess, introduction to the base. And, like, the second day is your licensing tests. And, mm -hmm. like, there's no there's no physical driving test. It's a written test. You just you just sit on a, 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 on a chair and pretend with a, with a wheel. And... <laughs> well, it's, 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 actually, it's actually a permit. It's called a... Uh, like a 4EJ, whatever it was a military acronym, but uh, it's it's a permit to drive in Japan. Not really a license, but it's more or less a permit. Mm. But I will need that as proof for when I apply for my Japanese driver's license, which is actually very easy. Mm. Um, but people think they got to take a driving test and stuff in Japan. You actually don't, as long as you have proof of driving in the States for at least, I think, five years or three years and proof of driving in Japan. You got to have some other documents of driving and you just bring it to some place in maybe Fuchu or something, I don't know, and uh, not Fuchu, but somewhere in Tokyo that can transfer your license to Japanese. It's very easy. So what? Uh, I can't do that until I get my visa, which is probably September time. Frame. Ah, Ken Kennedy is asking: Do the military cover your insurance? So if you if you if you bash your mini <laughs> <laughs> into somebody's K car, <laughs> we do. Are you covered? We do. We do have. I guess military friendly insurance uh, on an on and off installation, um, like new new base is very I guess Americanized per se. Um, mm -hmm. They cater to the, the base people. Um, but yeah, there's I have an insurance company off base, and I've been with them both both times in Japan, both times with my Mini Cooper. They know me very well, and then mm -hmm. insurance is pretty cheap. I, I pay every three months, maybe like seventy dollars equivalent Good every three months. Oh, every three, every I mean, three months. Know. Have they got any positions for middle-aged Englishmen in the American military? <laughs> so, but but as a Japanese, I guess on the Japanese side of the house, it's very expensive. But in the military, you get waived all the fees, like especially for my car, my car inspection, they have Japanese compulsory insurance, which normally costs maybe the Japanese uh, society like over two thousand dollars to complete, costs me only like three hundred dollars. Ah. So it. So uh, well, you 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 you're, you're all right because CC uh, Two Life said uh, he will need to sell a few cameras. No way, that's that's my wife, by the oh, way. Oh, hello, 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 Mrs. Joe. I don't know what to call you, uh, Mrs. Joe. I just call you. Well, my last name. Well, I think it's my Twitter it has my real name, Jordos. Like I'm not afraid to say my last name. Like I'm in the military. I'm sure my name's somewhere on the, on the internet. But uh, and there's other military bloggers that don't actively say they're in the military for some reason. I don't know why they're ashamed of it. But, you know, like I never I in my videos I've never like fully blown said like like I I've been in the United States Air Force and you know it's it's, it's awesome and I rec I recommend it if you don't have any other job, whatever. I started out working and going to school for my out of high school. So I didn't join just out of high school. I uh had a job at Publix, which is a grocery store, my first job then uh mm -hmm. Worked at Lowe's after I left Publix after about two years and went to college in between. I was, I was, I was a phlebotomist for a little while, drawing blood on people in the hospital for a little while. It was my career, you know. That's, I needed something That's more. <laughs> well, like, you worked at, I worked at Hogwarts, you had to wear a lab coat and stuff. It was a real <laughs> job. I, worked, I, got paid, I got paid a ton of money, I guess, back then when I was 18, 19, 20 years old, working at a hospital, you know, as a phlebotomist, you know, drawing people's blood in the hospital. But I really wanted something more, more of like a, career and my mm. uh, stepdad and he was in the army air corps now the air force he kind of recommended the air force and after some research i i just joined and never looked back i guess now i'm looking forward to kind of getting out so i can uh, this, be a phlebotomist again <laughs> no like i'm gonna be uh, hopefully a, a videographer or something somewhere or maybe a journalist or something or who knows like my life has took this turn so many different ways in over 10 years and but since my first time in Japan in 2014, I've always wanted to come back and stay here. And luckily, I met my wife. And mm. and this, even like back then, I wasn't really in school. And when I left Japan, that's why I really got a hard, a hard. <laughs> I, I really got hard. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm, I'm <laughs> we'll, we'll be going to hard off later. <laughs> I really got into school uh, 
definitely got into school and the uh, online school and uh, I just kept on plugging plugging at it for a good three and a half years now, four years now. I'm a, I'm a junior per se right now. So when I transfer, I already transferred all my stuff to Temple and I got accepted at Temple and I'll be a junior when I uh, when I start in January. Oh, so I'll be, I'll be finished within like a year and a half maybe. I might, I might milk it to two because I'm, I'm studying Japanese. But um, I'm definitely going to take uh, my time. Your, super- your superiors don't watch this show. <laughs> I'm going to milk it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going, I'm going to tra- transfer to this because... I was going to, it would have been a nice segue, but when, when we were talking about driving, but let, let's go to the driving video. Oh and, yeah, and, and I shall start it um, if I can get the, uh, the uh, okay play. There we are. Okay, if, don't don't get dizzy, folks. This is just this is just Joe in, in his car, which is a, a, a 1987 Mini Cooper. Yes, 1987 uh, classic Mini Cooper. It's been my daily driver for about six years, and it's been through many iterations of itself. Like it started out as a black and white, like grandma car. It didn't have much to it. And over six years, and about a million dollars later, I, I turned it into what you saw that picture I sent you uh, mm. a few days ago. But yeah, it's definitely a labor of love. Um, I'll be hopefully be able to drive it uh, once I get my visa and my license and stuff. And I'm, it's, it is very expensive to get it, like I guess, officially registered and stuff in Japan. But I definitely saved enough money and stuff to register it. But I take the trains a lot, so my wife has a car, obviously, and so I'm kind of weighing my options of actually registering it. But I definitely want to keep driving it because um, th- these driving vlogs, I just started them, and uh, it's something that I can just plug my two GoPros on and drive and talk. And my car is very loud. Mm. So um, that's why I have my little lav, lav mic for the second part of the video, second iteration of the of the blog where I used a lav mic. And I thought it sounded mm. a little better. And uh, editing is pretty easy. I just got to pick what camera to choose when I'm talking and go back and forth. But I thought my car is also very bouncy. And the I GoPro... Noticed, I mean... <laughs> Like the GoPro doesn't really tell because it has really the GoPro Hero Six Black. Has you've got, really you've good... got a gimbal. You want you want you want, you want your, sort of like gaffer tape your gimbal to your dashboard. <laughs> I, tr- I honestly I tried that. My, I don't really have a dashboard. Minis don't really have a. Dashboard. No, not really. No, it's just like <laughs> a, li- a little lip and like just enough for a clamp or something. Which I have two suction cups on my windshield and the GoPros point towards me or towards one towards the road, one towards me. And surprisingly, it doesn't bounce. You see the camera moving a little bit, but like. Or made the road moving, but it's kind of a weird sensation because you look at the video; it's like really steady, but you see like something moving, but it's not really the footage. Mm. It's my car. It's my car bouncing. Now, to- Tokyo but, Drew is here. Sorry, he's, he's saying no drinking. Yes, I am drinking. I mean, yeah, I'll, Joe I'll is not you. drinking. And, and yes, we... I'm drinking. We talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and our lenses are clean. Well, I don't know about my lens, but uh... where is the beer? The beer is oh, in my in my fridge. Yeah, it's right here. I, my, my, my computer monitors are like ten feet in the air. That's why you can't see it. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's that's me uh, driving past Domino's. This is Domino's, you know, by the base. He never crazy. gets there. It is, it's like it's like Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> like two two frames per second to get going there. But um, but yeah, I do like driving in Japan. But it does suck sometimes when you're driving areas you're not familiar with. Back streets like Google Maps loves taking you behind the back streets, mom and pop streets like the crazy like ninety degree turns. It's like I'm not gonna make this turn. I do the whole Austin Powers thing. Even in my car, um, it's impossible to make some turns, and it's kind of scary. But I got used to driving into Japan so much where I kind of almost don't remember how to drive in the states per se because I haven't mm-hmm. driven in the states in I don't know five six years. I've been in the states to visit, but I never really drove because my parents live in the middle of nowhere. Mm. And I don't I just drive with them. Oh, that, that's why there's lots of cows in those videos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Those ten, Tennessee Tennessee uh, Joe vlogs for about. I was home for about thirty days, and that's when my house to my house tour, my Japanese house tour, went viral. Mm. And I got like eight thousand subscribers in like five days, and like five hundred thousand views, and like I was like, oh my god, I'm not in Japan. And like nothing really I can do about it, so I was trying to post videos, like saying thank you and updates and stuff, and mm. people were like confused of like, what's this Tennessee guy? <laughs> you know, so I kind of lost lost some subscribers in the yeah. process, and uh, which is, I guess it I can't. Very, very temperamental YouTube viewers. 
like they don't uh, this guy's not from tokyo unsubscribe or something <laughs> like I'm like geez guys i'm like i'll be home in about a week give me a break so i did a, as many videos as, as i could in tennessee in my mom's backyard they have goats and chickens and donkeys and dogs and and there's some thrift shops here and there but like i vlog mostly at the house because you know they don't really go into town that much unless they go to walmart walmart <laughs> that's oh, not yeah. very interesting. <clears throat> Uh, CC, CCS2 <laughs> asks, how about the difference to driving in Tokyo and Kanagawa? I mean, is it more rural where you drive now? Uh, kind of. She's, she's kind of making fun of me because it took me five hours to get to her house, or my new house originally, because I, I got off the expressway at the wrong time, and I couldn't get back on because I didn't have an ETC reader, so I took the long way to her house, which not being on the expressway took me an extra like three hours. So I got to her house at like 9 p.m. instead of like 4 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first time, I don't think it was the first time meeting her parents. I don't think it was. It might have been. But um, it was around the holidays. So it was really a bad choice of me. Make, I had a 50-50 shot left or right in the expressway. For some reason, I made a left. <laughs> and I was in Hashioji. He hangs nowhere, to the left, folks. The no, left. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Nowhere near where I, need, nowhere near where I needed to go. <laughs> and literally the only spot where I can get back on the expressway needed ETC and the, and the Japanese or the actually English speaking person on, on the on the little speaker was like, sorry, you need an ETC. I'm like, please let me on. Please, please let me on. And he goes, no, sorry. I'm like, Ugh. And there's no other way to get on there. I tried on my map. I was driving in circles, like on the same like off ramp, <laughs> trying to get on this thing. And like, I gave up after a while and I decided to take the long way to. I see you are doing your Mr. Bean impression. <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of that in my car. The car is really small, like really small, but I ended up doing a lot of Mr. Bean stuff in, in my car. All right. Did, um, I'm being asked here in, in comments, uh, sort of, uh, <clears throat> did, did, you, did you pass a hobby off or a hard off? And, and that will, I shall go now. Live. <laughs> that, that, that's not for my video, is it? Or is this a no, random, this is a random image from the internet of some of some guy sort of like asking for advice whether he should buy this like uh, girly figure. <laughs> I've been into I've been to a lot of hobby offs and hard offs. I'm not too sure where that one's at. It looks like it might be somewhere in Arizona. Yeah, it could be Akihabara. I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, maybe. I guys don't go to Akihabara as much as I used to. Like, it's really a tourist trap slash really expensive place to buy. Like yes. for instance, like I, I don't. I've been buying more toys than video games lately. But I love old school WCW, NWO figures and WWF figures. And this was only five hundred yen, which is about five bucks or mm. four bucks, whatever. And like, it's Macho Man. It's like basically not mint condition, but it's it's basically it's from nineteen ninety eight. And like five bucks, I can pass it up. Mm. So I can put it on my wall somewhere. And uh, I do have a crap ton of video games. So I kind of stopped buying games because I have a, uh, I don't know, I guess I don't have much time to play. I do have a lot of systems to hook up still, but I just really haven't had time to do it. I'm a, I guess I'm an adult now, unfortunately. But I do have time to stop at hard offs on my way to anywhere I go. It's always time. We I should explain. We should explain to non-Japanese viewers what hard off is. Yeah, it's a, uh, <laughs> it's essentially like a thrift shop, uh, but it's a really good uh, secondhand store. Japanese take very good care of their toys and video games so much where like something like this still looks brand new um, from the factory and I bought games and toys that are still factory sealed from 25 years ago I'm like this is for like three five bucks I'm like this is insane but yeah a uh, hard off is off house which is for like household stuff mm -hmm. um, or yeah off house you got book off for books and they have games there as well like it's, it's like a secret spot like an Easter egg for games um, you have garage off, which is for car parts. Uh, liquor off, which is for I guess secondhand liquor and be liquor and beer that are not used. Uh, mostly liquor, I think. Um, hobby off for toys mainly. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, uh, Frederick. Frederick saying hard off. Do I have to check it on Urban Dictionary? I would, I would not do that, Frederick. No, don't. <laughs> I do have a video where I ran to a hard off. I think I, I run to it. Yeah, I ran. To, I did an experiment with a gimbal and a live stream. I ran to a hard off near my house in Akiruno, and uh, I call it raging hard off or something like that. So <laughs> <laughs> hashtag raging hard off. You know, you get all kinds of people subscribing. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, hobby off's good if you want to be like you know a capitalist. I guess I can. They'll buy a lot of stuff from hard off or hobby off, whatever's trending, and like sell it, I guess. But like, I don't really, also don't really have time for that. And shipping, you can't. 
obviously you can't use the military post office for that. It's kind of yeah, so they, would, they would get a bit pissed off, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. It, it, the Japanese post office can be kind of expensive and, you know, it's a little shipping and international. I don't know. Like, people do it and it's kind of crappy because I go on eBay and look at prices for games, like, really expensive. Then I go right to Hard Off down the street, get the same game for, like, five bucks. And uh-huh. on, online, on, online is, like, 50 bucks or something. So people scam a lot on eBay. So I don't buy games from eBay. Never really have. Since I live in Japan, like going to hard offs, like going to a convenience store, like they're kind of relatively, you know, if you're in like a more city area, they're on almost every block and mm. they're, they're building more and more every year in more rural areas. Like there's a couple in my area that I haven't really been to. I'm I mean, excited. it's also curious, I find that, I mean, the, I mean, you showed that nearly mint condition yeah. toy, toy there. Practically most things in there are, are, are in, in conditions. You know, ranging from from near mint to mint. Uh, yeah, I'm amazed. Like I lose my mind in some hobby offs. Like I start getting like almost like a stressed out panic attack mode because there's some stuff I, that I want but no, I shouldn't get. <laughs> That's how I feel. Like I tell my wife, like, please give me a second. Like I need to focus. Like she's like, she's like babe, let's go. I'm like, no. <laughs> this is my this is my time. I'm in I'm in my zone. Yeah, uh, it's, it's yes. It's like, it's like 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 going going shopping for clothes with ladies, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, like, I got to deal with that, you know. And then, then I got to buy them. But um, <laughs> no, like she she wants me to go to hard off and hobby off, and she rather me be in the hard off and hobby off instead of like the club, which I'm not a big fan of clubs anyway. But if I buy a five dollar toy once in a while or something, it's fine. I got this big room now. I got to fill up. I got a big loft upstairs. I can fill up too. Is it that I, 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 there's, there's a CC two for, for, for life? Is in the kitchen rolling her eyes at, the, at this very moment. <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah, uh, she's Tokyo shop. Drew says, it's a, "When are you, you going to get your ass into central Tokyo for some beers?" He's always wanted to drink. This chap. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, uh, Tokyo Drew had a, a beer in the Akihabara, and he he recorded it, but lost the footage because you know I'm the I'm the another vlogger in Tokyo, so he wants to be superior. So he did he did <laughs> he did. He deleted, he, deleted, he deleted my footage, you know, on purpose, I think, so he wouldn't put the spotlight on me. You know, he, you know, I think he's just trying to you know, be the superior J vlogger, you know, the senpai that he is. So, <laughs> but when I start, when I start school, I'll be going to Tokyo a lot. Like I'll be t- there a lot in, in school and, you know, Tokyo is actually not that far away from where I live. I do live kind of far from, I guess, Tokyo, Tokyo, but like getting to Shinjuku is only about 40 minutes. And that's nothing traveling mm. on a train. For mm-hmm. me. Take, take, takes me about 11, 11 hours and, and 40 minutes <laughs> to get to Shinjuku. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, Drew, um, yeah, tomorrow's not good because tomorrow's Father's Day. Uh, but I think next weekend, my, everything will kind of be settled down around here. And uh, I can probably definitely go to Tokyo next weekend because I, since I've been married and things have been so crazy busy moving and I really haven't been in Tokyo to vlog lately. If you notice my last few vlogs have been in either my house or my car or something or so unfortunately like my channel was built on like hobby off, hard off, live streaming and I still do those things, but it's really mm. turned into like I don't even know what it turned into. I just do random videos of whatever I want because that's what I do. It's a a channel based off my hobbies and mm. whatever I'm feeling that day. So if I want to talk in my room about a certain aspect of Tokyo, I might not have footage of that, but I still want to talk about it, like a commentary type thing. Mm-hmm. I might I might have to revamp my channel here a little bit because in my area, I don't really have a whole lot of places I can walk to um, relatively cl- close. So Ooh, uh, have, I, have I got a notification squad or am I, I, I just dreaming? <laughs> not a broad has said notification squad go. So that's not for me, obviously. <laughs> train, see, Ken, Kennedy says train blogs. Um, I want to do a video coming up here soon when I, when I noticed lately that each time I come home from work, the train is absolutely packed, like so packed that I can't believe my chest is getting squished. So I need to bring my little GoPro. And just hold my hand as if I'm holding the, the rail above my head, and just hold the GoPro above and show you what I'm what I deal with every day. And that'd be kind of a short vlog, I guess. I won't be able to speak very much, but um, yeah, this you're not supposed to talk on the train anyway, so you're all right. <laughs> uh, yeah, like there is chat, little chats on the train, and the later the later it gets, the more rowdy it gets because people start drinking and stuff. But no, I noticed so either Tokyo or Kanagawa, the trains are so packed, like it's 
like unbelievably packed. But I got the train at 1644 and it wasn't packed. But anything past five is like, hmm. you no, know, you're 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 doomed to be squished after five o'clock. Anything before five, you're pretty good. But um, I travel light. You know, I leave my uniform at work and I just wear like you know, you know workout stuff on a train hmm. and I have my phone and earbuds and coffee or something and I'm good for the hmm. hour, the two hour commute, I guess. And uh, I just suck, sucks waking up at 4 a.m. You have to oh, hold your hand high, says Kennedy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because actually, I'll hold, sometimes I do like the monkey arm thing. I have both hands up. And as being like a foreigner or a gaijin, you know, they don't, I guess it's more for the Japanese side. Like, there's a lot of like broken, a lot of like, uh, not broken laws, but a lot of news of like that type of stuff, like upskirt stuff from in the news on trains. And there's always posters everywhere. But I'm very good to keep my hand. I usually have one fo- a phone in my hand and my hand on a rail, so there's no way I'm touching you, you know, purposefully, you know. Ah, so it's I'm always like, making sure. Like, yes, so if you, you know, the advice for 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 visitors to Japan, you know, when you get onto the train, go on like this. <laughs> exactly. So you're like I, 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 I didn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially. Hisashiburi. So, uh, Hello, Ty. Yes, Hisashiburi. I remember vaguely remember what I should I've got a, I've got an exam on Thursday and then I've forgotten what Hisashiburi means. <laughs> My wife can probably translate. <laughs> actually, actually helped a lady from falling the other day. Um the train wasn't very packed, but she was right in front of me. It's some young girl, I don't know, maybe my age. But I was I was hanging out to the rail and she was like just not paying attention, I guess. The train jerked a little bit. She was like falling backwards. I grabbed onto her sweater. I was uh, and I was just chilling. Like, I wasn't even really paying attention to her. I was looking the other way. I just grabbed onto her sweater and pulled her towards me and let go. And she's like, "Oh, thank you." Then she that happened again. Kind of grabbed her again and pulled her towards me again. But I wasn't really looking. At I was I was on my phone the whole time. Like I was like just pulling her and like not really paying attention. Oh to yeah. Her. <laughs> but she thanked me. But she but she she thanked me for it though. Like I was, it was like a Spider Man thing. Like you only get one. You know, that, but I helped her twice though, because she was falling backwards, like to the point where, like, after I grabbed onto her sweater, the train jerked again so hard that it pulled me forward. So I was falling towards her, holding her sweater, trying to pull her towards me, but I was falling towards her at the same time. You just so, joined us, and this man is is rescuing a lady, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so um, and then, uh, then you helped to take her blood. <laughs> Hashtag <yeah>. lobotomy. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Though, like. There is times where people on train obviously know it's packed and they start kind of like laughing at each other and trying to talk. And I was with, oh, I guess it was three salary men, but kind of younger ones. And like, were so squished and like they knew they were squished when they couldn't even hold their hand up to grab anything. <laughs> he, was like, he had his hand like this the whole time, like laughing because he couldn't get his hand past here. <laughs> his friends were in front of him. And I'm laughing. Yeah, hi, 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 hi. Like laughing, you know, that's all I can say is that because they don't understand what I'm saying usually. So... But after about two or three stops where I get off at or where before I get off, it usually kind of dissipates. People get off and more towards my end of the train, my stop, it's relatively no, empty. There's nobody left except you. No. Yeah, pretty much. But like the first, the first... In the wilderness of Kanagawa, which we are now going to. <laughs> yeah. Is that Kanagawa? That's probably like Yokohama. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. It's, that's, it's like, all, all bits of Kanagawa. This is, Kam- this is... Kamakura. I've been there. I did a vlog there. Uh, pretty nice. It's very like a tourist trap again, like very touristy. Um, I think in general, like what comes to, like J vloggers, <laughs> excuse me, beer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like we live here in Japan and like, mm-hmm. it's almost like we have to be a J vlogger or a vlogger in general because there's so much cool stuff around that. So the like, people get a camera and they automatically become a YouTuber. You know, I, I've always liked taking video so I'm like, well, I guess I'll become a J vlogger, but I'm like, well, I'm in the military. So like, you know, I'm not really, I'm like, a, I don't know what you call me. I guess I am a J vlogger. I'm in Japan yeah. and I vlog. <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean... but there's some, I think, like I said, C vloggers, there's a lot of Canadian vloggers live in Japan mm-hmm. that are the biggest YouTubers in Japan, at least that I can see that are mostly Canadian. And uh, there's, there's, like, there's Tokyo Drew now, is, 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 his ears are pricked up. <laughs> you know, he's, he's got like, like you know, Charlotte, she's in Korea, but she I think's from Canada, I believe. Yes, and yes, that's right. She's one. Of, she has a couple of channels over 500k or something. You got CJ, you got uh, Chris abroad or whatever his name is, and all these huge Canadians, and like 
where's the actual Japanese, like pure Japanese vlogger that has like a million subscribers that does daily, daily, weekly vlogs. Like I haven't seen that really. Maybe I haven't searched for it, but mm. I think most of the J vloggers are Canadian that I see, or maybe for me. So there's, a, there's a smattering of Australians and one or two Americans. It's just, yeah, there's, not cool. a, there's, there's not a lot of British J vloggers. Uh, I, I noticed. That's, that's... I think, I think he's from England. I've, his name is Jan, uh, Jadan, Jan Dan in Japan, Dan, mm -hmm. Japan, J Jan Dan. I always say that. I, I don't know how, how good, but I think he's, he's a really strong accent. It's not like he's Irish, but he's mm. from England. It's a really hard accent. But yeah, I'm just a like American, you know, foreigner, going to be a civilian in Japan. I guess, a, yeah, I'd still be a civilian, but, you know, part-time in the Air Force. So I'll be still vlogging, but I won't be able to do daily, I don't think, because I'll be doing school full-time. And, uh, oh, Brian fans from England, my bad. <laughs> yes, but he's, um, he's British. But, uh, that's what I meant to say. But um, so I'll be trying to do weekly vlogs still, maybe every three three days, maybe. Like right now, I'm a little bit behind. I'm moving, which I always kind of freak out because I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, I might lose all my subscribers or get no views. But <laughs> you know, Sorry. I don't really get honestly my my viewership and my in my uh, like AdSense for Japan is really low. Like I think everybody's is because Japan doesn't really understand hmm. how ads AdSense work. Ad, ad, AdSense, what 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 is AdSense? This is this is this channel with 222 subscribers. <laughs> it's when you when you run ads on your channel, how you get paid and like oh. YouTube. I think I uh, earned one one p <laughs> in five years, <laughs> but like, I'm in one year time frame. I'm looking to make like a hundred dollars in one year. So like, even now I'm struggling to make like barely hit sixteen dollars in like who knows how many months. So like, I don't do it also for the money. I do it for the communication. You know, talking to all these other vloggers, giving them tips, tricks, kind of building a community, and maybe one day I'll, I'll be a big YouTuber and maybe be able to get some income out of it. As a, as a reward, but I do like the conversation that YouTube has opened me up to. And like, I've, I used to take photos and be a photographer, I guess, you know, back in the day, but I switched to video because I think video is more interesting and you can kind of relive in video format what you've done mm. the last week or, or a year ago. So I go back to my old vlogs and see how I used to edit my videos and go, man, I wish I could still do that. Or mm. I, should do, I should do that again. A lot of my vlogs were like nonverbal. I'll just do walk around and add music to them. But now I get my face in front of the camera because someone suggested it. I'm, I'm a little shy talking on the camera in front of like people, and so like I have like my my glasses, the pivot head glasses, and the camera in the middle. Oh yes, and I noticed that. Yes, those those. I mean, um, like spy spy <laughs> spy glasses. Sort of they work. No, they're not very reliable. Pivot Head is a kind of a crap company that's kind of small in Colorado, but pin, pin, I use a Pinhead. Pin, Pit, piv, pivot head. Oh, pivot head, not pinhead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whoever, whoever created them is a pinhead because the battery sucks <laughs> on it. But I use it sometimes when I drive or when I'm in like a store that doesn't allow filming or recording. So I wear them. And I can swipe forward on my glasses and uh, they'll work. But they're not very reliable. Oh, it, uh, Tomo, Tomo san is in comments. Tomo san, uh, when, when, when are you going to England, Tomo san? Tomo san. She's, she's she's in Japan and she's flying off to England shortly. So I'm just curious. Like actually, I have my my camera rack pretty close to me right now, so I can grab it. But um, now these these do uh, ten, oops, I have my microphone. These do 1080p, hmm. uh, so 30 frames, and uh, pretty. And I have my prescription in my prescription in them, so I can see, um, pretty well. And they, I keep them charged sometimes if I, want to, if I plan on doing a video. Mm. I know the battery is not very good right now. But do, they do come with like these like extra like USB battery packs you plug into the back right here as an extra little bit of juice, I guess. Mm. But I use them only when I guess necessary because they're not very reliable. Yeah, I you've whole... just got to remember when you're doing a live stream not to go to the toilet with them on. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. There is, I guess, there was a beta version of like live streaming with those glasses, but they never created it. So um, I don't know. I, those, those glasses back when I bought them new, they're still about two ninety nine, I think. So uh, they're very expensive. Two two hundred and ninety nine. Yes. Dollars. Yeah. Yes. Good God. That's, <laughs> yeah, I actually bought another pair just to see if I, the ones I bought were like crapped. So like I bought another pair on eBay that are brand new, never opened. So I bought another pair just because I had the money, whatever. I'm like screw it. So I bought another pair off eBay, not from the company, and they worked. And those that's that's the same pair. I I use them like I don't know when I want to experiment with a video. 
in very short videos. Like I got to film like a minute or two at a time so they don't overheat and stop recording or just shut off. Because once I found out if you're recording with them uh, and they shut off, you lose your video. Mm. So yeah, that's what yeah, I'll... It doesn't save. It doesn't save automatically. Uh, the, to- the Toys R Us vlog I did kind of mm. explains that a little bit. Mm. I'll just go back to my living room because I was getting dizzy in Kanagawa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's got it's got a home. We did some uh, finished my office today. Got the the shades up and the, my all my toys and camera equipment all on my shelves. And we just, what we do today? Oh, we went to shopping. You know, at a local base. We got some groceries and I hit a hard off just before I cop- came home. Like I know how to get home for this live. There's also this live stream thing, but I cannot pass a hard off. So on the way home. <laughs> So I, I can't I'm... get used to that name. No, it's it's no good. No. Yeah, it's, it's hey, a hobby cool shop. Show. I passed a hobby shop. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's Saturday. It's it's finally like calm down around here, and uh, you know, it's, I I finally feel settled in this new house. So uh, there, there should be some a lot of videos coming about this house. Um, another another house tour, a house introduction to this new house. It's a lot bigger, a lot more unique, mm-hmm. um, and. Uh, I still want to. I still want to dox myself, but my house is literally impossible to find. This is like a, a reverse maze. Like I don't even know where I live. Sometimes um, it's Did the this GPS. Like, go ra- round and round in circles on the motorway. <laughs> where am I? Like it's, Where's my it's house? Very, <laughs> very hard to find because the houses are so close together, um, and they look not really the same, but similar. But there's parts where, like, I'm using my GPS to say walk home or something, and like uh-huh. it's telling me to turn left, and I look left, and there's, there's a house there. I'm like, well, there's no road there. <laughs> but the house is behind that. My house is behind that house. Like, well, where's my road at? So then I, I got to turn around and like figure out where's the secret, the secret road where I got to turn right. Mm. So it's it's kind of complicated. Even my the movers for my house, they had a little bit of trouble finding my house. So oh, wow. I think I, I have no issue showing the front of my house at my old house in Akiruno. Um, I didn't really show the front of the house too much, only in the thumbnail. Because it's very no, easy, but to find. only you, know, you did. You did recently when, but you left it with 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 the with the realtors stood outside the front door. I remember the. Yeah, that was fun. I got my uh, deposit back, which is very rare in Japan. I guess in the military, though, they they pretty much give it to you back um, unless there's a lot of damage. Which I'm very good at keeping things clean and not damaged. So I got about total a collective like two thousand dollars back. So I was very happy to get that money back. Do you? Uh, I'm just getting a message here. I can't. Um... <laughs> <laughs> from my friends Mashu and Rina from the Rina, you know you want to make us chat moderators. I have no idea how to do that, and, and I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being interrupted. I think on your actual like YouTube channel, you go to your creator studio, then go to live chats. There's a moderator section. Ah, why is is, is there somebody being nasty in in, in comments? <laughs> oh, you just <laughs> you just want power, Mashu and Rina. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a different YouTuber, I guess. Like I just, I've I've always uploaded a video at least once a week or once every two weeks. I've been getting so busy lately that it's been, man, I need to do a video. But I don't want to put out just a video just to do a video. I want to be kind of uh, meaningful to a point, not just for the views, the hundred, two hundred views I'm gonna get. But I want my subscribers to like kind of understand what's going on in my life sometimes, and I don't want to do a, a review of of uh, you know. For instance, I don't want this to do a review of something like this because I, I just got it. Oh. It's, 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 a, it's a speaker, but it's actually a very good speaker, Bluetooth speaker. But like, I want to do meaningful videos. Like, I, but I don't want to. I think uh, quality over quantity is, mm. is what I go for. And like, I do have a lot of equipment. Camera, I could do reviews on camera equipment, but like, I don't think my my viewers will like that too much. Maybe. Well, like, speaking, I, speaking of that, I mean, uh, now that I've got you, sort of. Uh, uh, yeah. we, we did discuss briefly uh, uh, over chat, um, Instagram chat about about gimbals, didn't we? Yeah. So, um, I mean, I'm I'm quite interested in getting a gimbal <laughs> because um, uh, yeah. I, uh, if I run out of guests, which I haven't so far, I've only run out of guests <laughs> once. Uh, oh. I, I'm I'm forced to do a, a solo live stream from from, <laughs> from from a picturesque Belgian city, and yeah. um, and I got comments last last time I did that were saying it's a bit shaky. <laughs> So <laughs> yeah. I need a, I need um, I need a gimbal, and I was looking at the the the, the Feiyu three G C. I'm sorry, sorry, audience. I'm going to bore you now with technical stuff. Yeah, but, I mean it's it's for your own good, so you don't see me uh, shaking about like this. 
<laughs> like this is the I just pull this from my butt, but this is a uh, the smooth uh, three, which is all metal build. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, smooth four is real plasticky. It has a lot of like I guess hotkeys on it, mm -hmm. and I don't use the hotkeys for the app. I just use it for the straight gimbal smooth footage. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing I noticed with the, at least with the iPhone, um, uh, the eight plus cleaning eight plus, your lens there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always cleaning something, but um, the iPhone has it. Like, at least on the rear facing camera, has the in-body stabilization, and it always fights with the stabilization on the gimbal. Ah. So I know, like, I noticed with Mashu Maru Runeberry, I'm not sure what kind of phone they use their gimbal, but sometimes it's a little jittery. You know, it's smooth, but it's a little jittery because the in-body stabilization is fighting with this. You can't so, you can't turn that off on the phone though. I noticed. I mean, if you. No. you you can't. Yeah. You can't with an. Uh, you can't with a an iPhone, with an Android phone. You can turn it off. Mm. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> sure what kind of phone they have, but um, I know on their front facing camera, which is not. It's only 720p, maybe. That 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 doesn't have uh in body stabilization, so it looks smooth. Yeah, I think he notices the jitteriness of his rear facing camera with the gimbal. It's it's smooth but jittery at the same time, so it looks like he's losing frames. So that's why I haven't really used it that much. Um, it is, a dual, it will last all day pretty much, like 12 hmm. hours. And, oh, 12 um, hour battery. Oh, that's not bad because the Feiyu I, only lasts three hours, which is annoying. I would say, depending on how much you use it, I'd say eight, give or take eight to 12. But it literally lasts you all day. I don't think you'd be using this for 12 hours straight. But it does have a pretty thick battery. Um, I just, I, I get gimbals usually, because, like obviously I'm in the military, I have some nice income sometimes. sometimes. And like I get gimbals that are like, hey, I, want, I want that gimbal for later. So I'll get it now, and mm. then I'll keep it. And um, if something else comes out though that I want, I'll <laughs> sell it and buy buy that one. So <laughs> this is why you, you know, this is why you needed a bigger house. A, we don't see this, viewers, but all the other rooms are just full of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> my wife knows, like the, the upstairs uh, loft is full of boxes. So I always usually keep my boxes for expensive things, especially cameras. And I usually go through cameras not a lot, but like. Uh, if I find I'm not using that camera that much, oh Lord! If, I don't, if I'm using, not using that camera that much, I'll pack it up and bring it back to like big camera or even a hard off, and I'll sell it back to them for a decent amount of money. Like the hard offs, they'll, they'll give you crap for something. Like they'll give you pennies for something that's really, I guess, for what you think is worthy of mm -hmm. getting you know, a lot of money for. But they'll they got they'll forget they got to resell it too. So they'll give you like bare minimum for. Anything like that. you can bring them like a truckload of clothes that, that are nice clothes, but they give mm. you like 10 yen total for, for like all the clothes. The electronics they like Japanese electronics, especially bought in Japan. Um, and they'll give you like a decent amount of price. And you can bargain with them. I sold them two gimbals one time. Mm. Um, I bought there's an older Zion gimbals, they're still good, but I upgraded and got the newer Zion gimbals mm. for the main camera and the. Uh, so I brought them the box, everything. They don't really understand what it is, but they know it's expensive. And they look it up online and see how expensive it is. So they gave me like 30000 a piece for them, which is good. The resale, the resale on them were about 300 bucks a piece. So, But they're, now they're selling them for like fifty or 60000 They resell for fifty or 60000 And it, it goes back to the same hard off, and they're still there. So <laughs> I, don't feel, I feel kind of bad they can't sell them. But I use that money to buy either another camera or another gimbal or just put it away for savings. Mm. So I always, I, every so often, I kind of look at my camera stuff and look at okay, what do I use, what I don't use, what who can I sell this to, what what YouTuber friend might need this. And CJ Abroad, uh, my friend, uh, he's he's, an, he's stationed, he's actually in England. CJ Abroad, uh, I forget what part of England. I think he's at Lake and Heath, maybe, maybe Lake Heath. But um, yeah, I usually sell him my camera stuff if he needs it. Mm. Um, I get my ideas for gimbals because he's buying gimbals and whatnot. But um, yeah, I always look at my stuff and see mm. what I can, what I'm oh, not using. Tom, Tom always asking what what tools should she 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 need. She has an iPhone, so what what would she need for for, for taking smooth video? Honestly, if you're like I know Tom has about 1,200 subscribers, I think. Mm -hmm. But honestly, people like use their phones for their YouTube channel, and people don't notice it because iPhones actually have really good video quality and very very good stabilization. If you use like a a little tripod, maybe if you get 
you know. But if he's uh, walking about, if he's walking about with it, for example, you know, mm -hmm. uh, like the smooth Q, which is like the, I guess now very very cheap gimbal at ninety nine dollars. I have, I had the smooth Q somewhere, mm. and uh, I don't use it that much. But when I did use it um, for like my running vlogs and stuff, and you hear some creaks in the handle, it's plasticky. But it, it did fight with the stabilization in the phone. But like overall, it's it's the content. Like people want to watch whatever you're filming, mm. and they maybe ignore the little jitteriness once in a while. But it, also, your phone. If you don't have a lot of money, like your phone can be a very good uh, video taking device. It has time lapse modes and whatnot. And my ver my very first video or two couple of videos on my YouTube channel are with my not this phone, but a iPhone. And they're very good quality. They're like top down views of me showing off my video game, my video game collection, my very, very first like videos. If you've ever seen them, they're really kind of bad. Like, hey guys, uh, today I'm showing you my <laughs> Sega, Dream, Sega, Sega Dreamcast collection. Uh, here's game one, game two, game three, game four. I have like 30 or 40 games. This is me showing you the games in Japanese. Like, I don't know what this game is, but it's cool. And I just keep on going back. It's all done with my phone. I should try it. I should have tried that when I started YouTube. I, I may have got more viewers, but. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, like I started out with my phone, and then once I was in Korea, and like I I discovered Yongsan, which is a area with electronics, kind of like Akihabara. I called Akihabara of Korea, and like now it's kind of like dwindled down a bit. But there you can get tons of camera equipment. A little expensive, usually the previous year's models, but still they, they exist. Their cameras exist there. And I went there to buy some camera equipment, some cameras, and that's when I first started into cameras, and never stopped. And once you start YouTube, it kind of never stops. And mm. I do have a lot of gimbals. I have three different uh, gimbals for, I guess, three different cameras. Um, I have like the big, heavy, not big, heavy, but the Zion Crane 2, which is mm -hmm. really for my, my handy cam, big microphone. Then I have yeah, one for you, my. You have different kinds of gimbals for, I mean, you've got gimbals for smartphones, which is what I'm looking for, but you've also got yeah. gimbals that can cope with, with, with big cameras. LRs. <laughs> yeah, so I got cameras for, I got a gimbal for every camera that I have. And, that's, they don't have a very good form factor for carrying carrying it around with you in Tokyo. So like I kind of like cringe. I'm like ah, I want to take that to Tokyo. So I end up using like, you know, a, my old, my old school my my handy dandy mm. uh, Gorillapod, which is how I start my YouTube channel. Which is this is a newer version of Gorillapod 4K. Mm. Um, I wanted a newer version because it had only only slightly less conspicuous if you're walking. <laughs> yeah, a little less. But uh, hold on, I'm, oh, like, yeah, I, well, I'm not a Gaijin YouTuber, at least. <laughs> I want to jerk my head, jerk my head back. That sounds bad, but a snopper gimbal will fit in your pocket. It's a good job we know what we're talking about. But I, I created this. I created. I created this monstrosity. It's a GoPro Hero Six Black with a microphone adapter with the Rode Video Mic Go, <laughs> and it has ex ex external battery, so the battery never dies. Oh, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just reading Mashu's comment there. So using the Osmo, I sometimes feel like magical girl with our wand. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder whether, I wonder whether Joe feels like when he carries that around. <laughs> what he feels like. but this, uh, I've been wanting to use for a vlog for like actual walk around the vlog. I use this for my car a lot. I take, I take it off uh, this part here. I built this thing like basically from scratch mm -hmm. um, through like this research and stuff. But yeah, it's actually stealthy. You know, it's. I can take this battery pack off, no problem. Stealthy, relatively, relatively stealthy. You know, if you, and, uh, you put a cloth over it, you know, with a cam camouflage pattern on. Then it... uh, this, 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 uh, <laughs> this, this Siri tripod, it makes it kind of smaller. Mm. So uh, you can grab it here. And the, it extends pretty far, too. I have it in the shortest mode possible. But yeah, this is what I call my lazy vlogging rig. It has very, very good audio still. Um, has a, a cage on this GoPro. So mm. I have a, a like a non a nd filter on here so it helps with contrast and i got the the and the external battery so it'll last all day long i use i use a similar rig like this for my single single de mayo video mm. so oh, yes I, yes i saw that yeah so everybody I, was pretty right? mm. I was pretty impressed with the video quality oh you just can't really zoom with it you can mm. digitally zoom if you're not recording you can stop recording and zoom digitally then record again <laughs> But I, I don't really zoom too much in my vlogs, I guess. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, this is my, my lazy. Yeah, my, yeah my, 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 it's called my lazy vlogging rig. But my favorite camera to use is this, uh, my main vlogging. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> yeah. It's the Panasonic G85 with the 17 and 14 lens. 
Mm. It's very very wide. Um, this is the new Go uh, GoPro. This is the new uh, Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. So you don't need to worry about turning turning it on when you turn the camera on. It turns on, turns off for you. Mm. So this is my main. This is a Japanese camera. This is equivalent to G eighty, I think. I, I, called... I, I, I feel very very insecure now. <laughs> so, what is that? Oh no, no, this is this. I, I, I have this. Then, then I have this as well. I have um, <laughs> this is like the big brother of what, of what Drew has. This is a WXF 990M uh, 4K twin cam. Uh, this is what I use for, I guess, studio uh, vlogs and mm. the gimbal as well. I put a microphone on it. But I just have a collection of cameras for every aspect of a vlog that I want to do. <laughs> so Tom, Tomo says she's an analog analogic tick. YouTuber. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, YouTube. No, no, no digital. It's analog. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I got this assortment. I kind of like looked at my stuff and just make sure you know I'm using what I have. Excuse me, I'm using what I have, and I do have a lot of cameras, but they all have their purpose and they're. You know, I like having this stuff. I like stuff. Hmm. So eventually, like. I do kind of pack it up and put it away because I don't like clutter as well. So I feel like I'm too cluttered with stuff around me. I'll, I'll start putting stuff away. Yeah. But the office is pretty big, so it's all spread out pretty well. I, don't know. I, I avoid clutter by avoiding buying stuff. <laughs> yeah, like I, I like I, 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 I just like stuff. Like I just like stuff. Like I, I'm in a hard off, and like I think like, I want everything in the store right now. I don't know how I buy all of it, but I want all this stuff. It's hard I, used, I used to be like that. I used to, I mean, I, I used to have that with like sort of old British science fiction shows. I would, I would go in and uh, in, into sort of secondhand shops. This was like thirty years ago, and uh, and I, I just, and my wallet would, would <laughs> suddenly <laughs> empty. Now with me, going, now, now all in boxes somewhere. I don't know where it is. <laughs> now with me being a, a student soon and being a full time student and not full time working, I will have to. I guess scale back my purchases and stuff. Yeah. So that's what's where YouTube make crowdfunding comes in the hand. We're like, hey, if you want me to do this video, I might need mm -hmm. some, you know, some extra funds to go travel because I won't be necessarily traveling out of my way more. I'll be traveling to school and back, which is you know paid for, you know, via rail pa rail, rail pass. But to right. go off my yeah. to, to go off the tangent of my rail will cost me extra. Well, the, we, we we can advertise now um, for all those wishing to buy a second-hand gimbal. Contact Tokyo <laughs> Flux in Kanagawa. Yeah, like I, if I'm selling a camera or a gimbal, like um, something's bad. I don't usually sell my camera equipment because I have a closet. I have a closet right here behind me. Up in my closet is like my I call it my uh, tinkering part of my camera collection, where like I have all these about four different. I guess organ organizers like uh, boxes of organizers. I, what was I was trying to say like a dress, like a little dresser. I guess little like storage tote. I don't, I can't talk right now, but they they all have stuff inside of it, like parts of like camera stuff. Yeah. And when when I want to build something, I go up there and like say, what do I have to build this? So I have I have a lot of like excess stuff up there that I'm not necessarily using every day, but I might one day down the road need it. So I don't want to get rid of it. So I just put it in my little like I guess uh, stash. Uh, collect cache of like camera parts up there. So I don't know. I keep my things organized a lot, and the, my wife helps a lot with that. She's an interior. Yeah. She, she's an interior decorator. So <laughs> she knows. She knows every piece everywhere. So just, <laughs> well, she does. She's, she's a professional interior, interior uh, decorator, so she knows how to decorate things. But yeah, I, I try to. When I built this office, like a closet, it was really bad. So she came in and goes, "Oh God, you're, you're losing all this space." You hear that? Yeah, I can hear it. I can hear a small, small canine going berserk. It was a, uh, it was a uh, my uh, Pomeranian. Um, but, um, I was right. It was small. <laughs> <laughs> must be, must be someone at the door, but um, or something invisible. But uh, no, I have stuff in there, and it's organized. It's not messy. I like things. Uh, being in the military, things have to be in order for me. Like I need to mm. put my camera bins in front behind that stuff that I don't use on top of that is like storage for bags. Cause I also have an obsession with like camera bags. Like I haven't really found the perfect camera bag yet. I do have a couple that I use day to day or whatever, but like I'm still looking for the most perfect camera bag. 
Apparently you used to have a horse. I'm not quite sure what this means. Whether it's some kind of in-joke, but Tokyo Drew says you need to get back on the horse. <laughs> Maybe for vlogging, I guess. Like, I'm trying. Like, I, when, you, when you're moving and they have a full-time job and sometimes you just really can't do a video. Oh, it was, it was just your wife doing Pomeranian impressions. <laughs> she says, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe she... Sometimes uh, Anna Anna's little Pomeranian, Anna barks when like you think she's getting food or maybe you're stealing her little bone or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the hub vlogs with Drew Guy. Evolved dude to yes. the hub. <laughs> I don't think there's not a hub near me. I don't think I live in like a real, not rural, but like it's definitely like at this. It's like between a city and like rural. It's, it's you have to drive a little bit into my city to find things, but like just like one station away is probably a hub somewhere. But uh, I live in a kind of a quiet area. Really nice. There's lots of like right behind my house is like a pretty huge like I guess plantation garden thing, mm -hmm. and uh, it's not mine, but it's my neighbors. And they always this morning she was like picking something but yeah it's all very quiet around here lots of gardens lots of vegetables we picked mm. and plant planets it's very quiet and nice and uh, the amount fuji in the background in my house so. <laughs> the dog had hard off anxiety <laughs> yes uh, that's, that's how i feel when i go to a hard off or hobby off that i've never really been to before like i start losing my mind because like i see stuff that i haven't seen before or that i had when i was a kid and like oh my god i'm gonna lose my mind there's a few things I look for in a hard office, which is the old wrestling stuff, like WWF, the, but even WCW is kind of hard to find. I look for like old Marvel things, um, like shirts, magazines, comic books, anything that's like, there's a lot of like Western toys in hard offs, like a ton of them hmm. and um, from the 80s. And like, I try to only buy what maybe I, I had when I was a kid, maybe, or I'm used to. I don't buy everything hmm. that's from the 80s, but like, like I'm a big fan of the Hulk, and uh, uh, Hulk's the original one with Lou Ferrigno. Uh, well, just the Hulk in general with characters. Right, Marvel. Right. Like right now on my on my wall right here, I have a uh, female Hulk from 1998 or something. So oh, like wow. I don't I don't see too many female female Hulks in the box. It's only five bucks or whatever, so I bought it. But it, on my on my figure shelf over there, I have a couple of different Hulks, like different mm -hmm. sizes, like huge ones, small ones. And whether they're so cheap, I just can't pass them up. Because well, have you got have you got have you got that sort of uh, Stretch Armstrong version? Have you got that one? No. <laughs> but if I saw it, if I saw it, it was relatively cheap. I'd probably pick it up. Yeah. I have an have IKEA shelf, you know, full of this stuff from all the years I've been collecting, and it's all very particular things like robots, vintage robots, and watches, and little toys here and there, little knickknacks and stuff. So, like, I try to buy stuff that has a little bit of meaning to it, maybe uniqueness. Like, I'm a big fan of Saw, you know, the Saw Billy doll. Like, uh, this is my, my phone case. Ah, uh, yes, with, with the weird grin, chappy. Yeah, I want to I I play a game. So, like, whenever I see a Saw figure, a Saw, like, something, it's kind of obscure, and, like, usually it's actually pretty expensive online to find those things. So, I, I'm in a hard off, I see, like, a Saw figure for, like, five bucks. I just, like, Goes for like a hundred bucks online or something. Like I'll buy it because it's cheap, and I like saw, and I have a place in my shelf for it. And maybe I can do a review on it later mm. or something. So like I haven't done too many toy reviews, but I'm not really a toy expert. But I just know what I like, and maybe someone and I, else. I, will. I, I'm now thoroughly curious because you've got all this stuff. It's all yours. Yeah, and 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 what what. What uh, CC two for life has, whether she has any room left for her stuff. Well, she has the whole house to herself. Like I guess minus the, the living room because my TV or our TV, the 4K TV, the PS4 Pros there and stuff. But like honestly, all the toys and stuff and video games are in, are in this office. Ah, uh, so that's created. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is my I call it my nerd cave, my creativity cave. So um, my YouTube headquarters type thing, Tokyo Joe Joe Dro Productions headquarters. So. Um, but downstairs, there's a there's a Snorlax on the couch, a big stuffy Snorlax. <laughs> I, I got from I got from a crane. I've, you probably saw on my Instagram. I, I got a Snorlax from the crane game. It took me about 20, tr 20 tries and probably a lot of yen, but I got the Snorlax that I wanted. And there's a couple. Uh, my wife speaks. Tre Trevor's here. He came into Saul. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Oh man, there's a dead there's a dead J blogger in the chat. But um, <laughs> Ooh. but um, <laughs> he, he'll, he'll bugger off to Discord if you're not careful. 
There's, a, so there's, another, there's another hater comment for you, for you <laughs> to, 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 add to, your, <laughs> add to your video, Trevor. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Trevor knows I'm joking. I'll give him a hard time. Um, uh, Tom, just, Tom, I was asking, uh, I don't know who she's asking, but she's asking either you or me, do you have another job except YouTuber? I'm afraid right. we, if, we, if, if we got paid for doing this, <laughs> mate, <laughs> we will be here. We will be here every day and you'll be sick to death of us. But no, um, <laughs> yes, Joe has an, uh, another job. I have another yeah. job, but it's rather boring. Yes, I am. I am active duty United States Air Force. So uh, that's a pretty, I guess, important job. You know, I'm proud of being in the military. It's, I think it's being overseas is a different, kind of like a permanent tourist, not or temporary tourist. I'm about to be a permanent tourist, but um, it's, I guess being overseas is is special, and not, not everybody can do it. It's you'd be selected kind of randomly. And there's a way to work the system per se, but like it's really random, and uh, everyone's experience is different. Moving, living, I'm used to Japan in a, in a sense. I lived here before for two years, so I know my way around. And so mm. coming back was like you know I, I took two years of like vacation. Now I'm back, so like now I'm ready to live here and go to school and do the part time gig, you pay the taxes, and, <laughs> and uh, all that stuff, and then eventually get a job, you know. Not necessarily at a Japanese company, but at an Amer American company in Japan. Oh. So many, there's so many of those people don't know about. Um, you just gotta know people and know where to look. But I already have a lot of contacts and whatnot. Mm. Not a non-English teaching job. Um, teaching English is okay. You know, it makes okay money. But looking to be able to promote my job and teaching, you don't really get to promote unless you're Drew. You could be a manager or something. But as a regular teacher, you don't you get minimal pay, like maybe twenty five hundred. Mm. Bucks, 20, 2700 bucks a month. Like, yeah, that's okay. But, like, I'm looking for oh, no, more she, than that. No, no, she's nodding off. I mean, it's, 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 what time is it in San Francisco? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking for, uh, you know, some type of social media company or maybe, uh, whatever my school has in, has in mind when they do internships, whatever I can find, basically, that's non English teaching. Good night, Nosh. No, no, she, no, she's got to go to sleep because it's 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 some some ridiculous five thirty a.m. Should be waking, should be waking dedi up. Dedication for you. <laughs> but, uh, Thanks, Nosh, for coming. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I have a lot, a lot a lot ahead of me here in Japan. That's why I'm not too worried about YouTube channel. I got, I've always I'll I'll be here, you know, to stay doing videos. But I might be a little rough transition to like pumping out videos when I can, but mm. I think tomorrow after Father's Day brunch or something, I'll probably do an update vlog, probably in here. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I got my other light in there. I can set up like a nice little background over there for me or I might go outside depending on the weather. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I definitely, the vlogs will come. Um, the travel vlogs might be a little different since I'll be traveling. I don't know. Since I'm a, Monday, Monday, Monday through Friday, I'm working. Well, you know, I'll tell you, I mean, I got an idea. I mean, I've been watch, watching your videos with the with the mini. Just get back to yeah. the mini, and it's it's. Yeah. I mean, um, the view from in the mini with you vlogging is good, and the view out of the the windscreen is good. But what you could do maybe is is uh, what will be nice would be um, not so much a live kind of in the mini and and live cam dash cam thing, but but have yeah. those elements in it. But the, a vlog. About the mini, about driving around, and you'd get sort of shots of the mini. You, 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 somebody else would have to yeah. take it, or you'd set it up. Oh, so, yeah. You know, because you, you don't really see it, the mini, uh, from from any other than than, than the interior view. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that would be like a nice vlog, sort of. If you could do that, if you could set that up. I've been wanting to do a, a actual video about it lately, but like, mm -hmm. whenever I clean it, it rains, <laughs> or like, there's not enough time to do a proper like. I guess get a whole 360 of the car because I gotta find a parking garage or something or somewhere to film the video, not really in front of my house or something. Maybe I no, can no, no. now. No, you just drive out in, in into the wilds of Kanagawa and get your gorilla pod on on a lamppost and and yeah. drive drive past and all this kind of stuff. You know, get low yeah. angles, clip it, clip it to, As, the, to the front wheel and get some 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 like uh, bullet action going. You know, <laughs> I wish I could do that. I wish I had someone that can do that, and maybe someday I can. But for now, it'd be like the, the hood version and the interior version, and hmm. maybe as a maybe pre-recorded like B-roll of like my car on the outside somehow, like this car, a stationary car, and me just doing like a my gimbal or something, like go around the car. I don't know, like. Hmm. 
it's just I've always wanted to do a vlog about it, but this the time's never been good and the rain's been there and hmm. now that um Right, everybody, in the, right everybody in the audience, we we want a, a mini vlog. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, what is it? one second. One, I'll show you my mini Cooper. One second. All oh, right. Um, Tom, yeah, Tom was asking how many times, how much time in in the day do you use to make so, videos? So I was in a so I was I was in a hard off with the hobby off in the Hagashi uh, Yamamoto or Hagashi. I don't know one of the Hagashis. <laughs> And I found I found this uh, mini hmm. uh, for about twelve dollars. It's a vintage uh, Mini Cooper, so <laughs> I do have a mini oh, uh, nice. here. But so, this is uh, not this is not exactly that yours. So no, it, but it's similar. It's, it's similar, but um, I like it. But uh, I get kind of close there. It's metal. It's actually kind of heavy. Hmm. I was really surprised. It's only twelve dollars, but it, it, it was. A, it is a it is a Mark II as well. I see. Yes. Yeah, it's made in the. Uh, 1993. So I was really surprised. It's only twelve dollars, and the the door is open and oh microphone. Sorry, the door is open and stuff. So um, that was kind of neat for twelve dollars. I can't pass up a Mini Cooper. That's actually kind of like whenever I pick up something that's like like this, like this is actually good quality. Like this is heavy <laughs> and it's vintage, and I usually pick it up just because it's a Mini Cooper. I love Minis, and uh, I, but a Mini Cooper wasn't my first car though. Uh, my very first car was a, uh, a Toyota Supra for about maybe six months, and I just didn't like it that much. What was it? What did you say again? A what? My first car was a Toyota Supra. A, a Supra. All oh, right. Yeah. 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 So quite, quite, quite a lot more powerful than than the Mini. <laughs> uh, sort of like the, it wasn't a turbo, but like it, um, it just felt so big and so like slow. And I always saw these Minis on on my base. I'm like, man, I really want a Mini Cooper. And I didn't really know how to get one. And I had a friend that had a like, his civilian guy that was like had a, had a, his own business off base or something, like American civilian that lived in Japan. And uh, he's like, yeah, "I can get you one." Then like, or no, knew a friend that can get me one or no, off Yahoo Auctions. So I bought my car, my original Mini, off Yahoo Auctions, and it wasn't really that great. It was like I need a lot of work, and, and I put the work into it over six years, and I probably wasted like a million yen. Or mm. over, oh, probably over, over two million then, probably. I would say, or one point five million, which is about fifteen thousand dollars over six years. Good grief! But um, well, but I, I, I can't talk. I, 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 I spent that much on my crappy old, <laughs> crappy old Peugeot three hundred seven diesel. So um, <laughs> that, I bought missed. the car. I bought the car for originally for about two thousand dollars originally, so it wasn't that much into oh, it. Yeah, but it needed a lot of work to get it like. Up to like a legit Mini Cooper status because someone had it try to make it into like a racing Mini Cooper. It had like a weird battery and weird weird wiring and no, it didn't have any bucket or any like contraption for like uh, fluid for the windshield wipers or anything. So I had to like get basic parts for it still. Yeah, you know, like squeezy squeezy bottle there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hand out so, the like, <laughs> so if you scroll down my Instagram, probably about two years ago, where I posted just Mini Coopers, I posted just mm -hmm. Mini Cooper stuff before I posted pictures of myself. Um, you can probably see like iterations of my car over a period of time. Um, it looks completely different. It has the fat fenders now, fat wheels, and it was green and black. Before it was like white, white and black with like small wheels, small no fenders, and mm. no fog lights in the front. No, not much of a top rail or nothing. It's a completely so, um, different car. <laughs> it really is. Like I completely yeah. tore, tore it apart inside and out, and uh, I, I love it. It's a labor of love. Don't encourage him CCS for two for life. You should have a mini hard off. <laughs> mini hard off sounds like a good idea. Okay, Drew, it's only no, no, Well, he's, he's off for his beer. I mean, he's, he's, oh, he's oh, been getting shaked. You know, it's, it's like he's not been at the hub. <laughs> he's off. <laughs> it was so tough to ride a mini. Uh, oh, you, you've driven in a mini, uh, Tomo. Tomo's been in a mini. My mother. My mother, her, when she was younger, a lot younger, we were talking about 1970, had a, had a Mark I Mini. I remember uh, traveling in that. Yes, it was uh, very metal, lots of metal and, 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 and leatherette <laughs> inside. <laughs> minis um, are not that comfortable. Like mine, I guess, is, has leather seats, whatever, is pretty, 
padded, but like honestly, the bumps on it, you know, it's, there's no suspension really in Mini Coopers. It's just bits of rubber between. <laughs> yeah, so I hit a bump pretty hard, and I'm afraid something breaks in my car. Usually, something does. Usually, something does break when I hit a bump pretty hard. Yeah, the bottom my, of your spine. <laughs> my, my, sometimes my my blinker my blinker uh, stops working or something, so I gotta go jiggle jiggle the wires I, or something to so get them to work again. <laughs> This is, so this is not a good advert for people wanting to buy minis. <laughs> no, they can be like, you know, a pain in the ass when it comes to uh, maintenance because it is very expensive in Japan. But luckily, my Mini Cooper shop is very understanding. They're more of a family to me, and they help me out a lot with maintenance costs. And mm. I guess understanding my car's been there for like 10 hours, and they just charge me for the basic maintenance for whatever they replaced. Um, but an oil, an oil change can cost me, you know, and fluids change can cost me easily like, Hundred eighty dollars, you know, just for a basic oil fluids change and, and like basic inspection. Wow, you know, so it, was, it get kind of expensive, and but I guess you don't drive as much, so you wouldn't need an oil <laughs> change oil change as much. Uh, but um, CC two for life says so she's quite happy you've got the mini because there's no big shopping <laughs> for sure. You can't. Be, like, that's, that's true. That's but you, roof rack. <laughs> you'd be surprised what I fit in a mini Cooper. I fit a. Uh, Katsatsu table, like a heating table in my car. Like I fit a lot of big stuff in my car, but this is how you maneuver it from the front seat to the back seat. And uh, I fit a lot of big stuff in there. I, 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 has anybody seen that that Mr. Bean episode where <laughs> he moves house and he has everything tied to the oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The door handle. The door handle was too heavy for you. What? Uh, or the handle, maybe the handling was too heavy. Uh, Tomo was saying about her experience oh. driving a Mini. They, they, don't, they don't have uh, power steering. At least mine doesn't have power steering. But it's so, such a small wheelbase that you don't really need power steering anyway. So yeah, you, you just get out, pick it up, and <laughs> turn it around. I get, I, I, get, I get made fun of a lot at work sometimes. You know, like, but... um. Because my car, I don't realize how low my car is to the ground. Because like I'm in traffic, and like these big trucks are next to me, big like dump trucks, and their, their tires are like by my head. So I'm <laughs> screwed to get hit by a big dump truck. I'll be like get run over first before I get hit by a car. Like it's, I'm very low to the ground. Well, there you have it, folks. L low to the ground, <laughs> Tokyo Joe. <laughs> I mean, these are very low to the ground. Like, I didn't realize how low they are, but I'm just so used to it. I'm, I'm not a huge, tall person. I'm like 5'8", you know, I'm not super tall. Right. But it's, um, not, it's not a good enough family car, though. Plan ahead, Joe's. <laughs> I'd be surprised, though. There's some families that have mini, like classic minis that have family, like one baby or something. So, uh, but, but, um, my car doesn't have AC. Like you see, on maybe on my picture is somewhere that I have like an oscillating fan in my car. It's a classic mini style, like uh, oscillating fan, twelve volt fan. That's my AC. I plug in. You know, it just blows the hot air around, but it's still air. So. Oh, I mean, uh, when I moved to Belgium, I, I you know I thought Belgium Belgium is not not all that different to the UK. And I, but yeah. I lived I lived in the far north of the UK where where summer is like twenty degrees for about like three days, um, <laughs> so I came to Belgium and I, why why do cars have air conditioning and then I and it just Belgian summer happened and it was like oh that's why <laughs> that's funny so um how the waffles in Belgium I always hear about these Belgian waffles they're they, rather they... good but I mean it's it's rather monotonous you go to a, a, a Belgium if you go to go out for for a meal in Belgium you have yeah. One, Wonderful choice, wonderful choice of uh, you know starters and uh, first course and main course and and then you look at the desserts and it's ice cream and waffles. <laughs> That's uh, true. Every, every restaurant, anywhere you go, it's just ice cream or waffles. <laughs> just like so, you get a bit fed up. But it, they're they're rather nice, sort of a bit doughy. But because um... I, mean, I spent a little time in Europe, like very very little, because I I was stationed in Turkey for twice. Two different times, I had some layovers in, in like Ramstein, Germany, but never really got to explore because I was in the Ramstein. airport. Oh, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I do have some friends over there that that explore you know Germany and Belgium. It looks really nice over there. Very, I guess, ancient historical places. I'm I'm more into like the otaku like electronics and stuff. So mm -hmm. that's why I like I don't know if I like Germany that much. I know they had little, very little, I guess, video game stuff over there, but I really like Tokyo and like the the presence that it has on me like i don't know like 
castles kind of get old for me. I've been to a lot of castles in Turkey. They, and, they generally are old. Yeah. <laughs> well, like they get old as like seeing them. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. I know. <laughs> you can only vlog so many castles. Chain there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> But yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yes, Europe, yes, Europe will be a bit of a disappointment if you're an otaku, yeah, <laughs> otaku. I, I, yeah. I heard that there's some districts of like very, very small video game places, but very mm. small. But and that's why I like small and dingy and and and, and not clean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's why, like, when I was stationed in Turkey, like, I was like, you know, I, I have a lot of Turkish friends. I do, I did, did any videos over there, which I kind of wish I did. But then Turkish people are kind of nosy and they get mm. in your business a lot. Like when this I was is, doing this is my village. This is the local goat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so like, like if you go on my Facebook, you can see like all my past photography of Turkey. And like people will get in the photo and like they'll make you like show it to them. Like, oh, how do I look? And they'll never see that photo. They'll never see that photo ever. But they want to see what they look like mm. in the photo, you know. Or like I'm doing a photo. I did photo shoots in Turkey sometimes for my friends at, at the mosque. Mm. And like it'd be crowds of Turkish people around me, like wait, looking at me. I think I'm a famous person taking photos of people. So, uh, like Tur Turkey was. Someone's got to Tom upload a video. Uh, this is this is new. This is her channel rarely gets videos, so looking forward to it. Oh yeah, I watch her videos sometimes. They're uh, they're very different, like the voiced over videos. I like them sometimes though. She's very uh, she's I know I know where she comes from, <laughs> so um. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, her videos. Mm. All right, everybody, go and watch. Go and watch Tomo's channel. New video coming soon. Yeah, my video. I need to do videos, man. I guess I can't always steal this video from my channel. I guess I could, but well, well, uh, I mean, you, you're perfectly welcome to it. I mean, Eric Surf Six stole it for his, and and and, and <laughs> on, on 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 his channel, it got something like five thousand views. <laughs> So I mean, I got yeah. one. I got one troll comment as well on, on <laughs> uh, my first my first ever troll comment, but it was via Eric Surf Six. Nice. They said they, they said they they said the hangout was badly edited, which obviously they're a complete idiot because the, the hangouts are not edited. And um, oh, yeah. um, the, the, the the host was annoying, and I wasn't quite sure whether he meant me or whether he. <laughs> Six. <laughs> That's funny. I, I like the intro you made me. It might need to change your voice, though. I thought you would. Like, oh my god! I, I cut my. I cut my. I sent you. I sent you one without my voice in it. That, no, that, yeah. That, you're you're counting down five. That's four, not. Me. That's not me. That 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 is that is my, Michael Caine. You you might have to cut that because it might be. He, he, he might sue you for. I mean, that's Michael. That's Michael Caine from the Italian job. Counting down five, four, three. Oh, two. I thought it was you. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of people know that. I can't do Michael Caine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do like that. I do You're like only that supposed intro. to blow the bloody doors off. No, <laughs> no I might, uh, I, for the next video, I definitely have to look at it and see. Um, I, I probably just keep it the way it is. Um, I do like the style of the editing. It's really like, uh, it took my videos, which is cool. Like, I, I've always wanted to do a trailer. Like, I have that stupid, like, Time lapse Tokyo Joe vlogs to end of my videos because I took a time lapse in Hashioji one time, hmm. and uh, you're frozen by the way. Oh, and I, I, and I use that for uh, my, my outro. My camera went off. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, you're you're smiling right now, <laughs> like like you're frozen. <laughs> <laughs> I may have to. Can you still hear me? I can still hear you. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. Uh, uh, let, let's have a look. I shall I shall find a. Uh, uh, it's probably my. It's that stupid bloody. Uh, Microsoft <laughs> camera. Microsoft, stop! Stop doing stupid updates and buggering up my camera. Um, oh dear. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's all it's over to over to Joe. Joe, now this, this is now your your hangout. Uh oh. Tokyo Joe, Joe hangout. I got frozen Simon. Like smiling, like leaning over towards me. It's kind of creepy smile. But yes, I. I um. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just tra transfer you to darkness. There we go. There, uh, and I shall find a. I, sh I shall find a. Pic I shall find a picture file. A, a nice picture. Um, while we're waiting, <laughs> have a picture. Uh -oh. of, have a picture of Japan somewhere. Uh, 2015. Not of my girlfriend, please. No. Uh, <laughs> I could. I could find you a picture. Here. Here we are. Uh, this is Yamaguchi. Um, 
There we are. Yeah, well, Gucci, <laughs> that's that's lovely. Yes. Oh, uh, I'm I'm sorry about that, folks. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I may need to get a new camera. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, sort of. <laughs> man, Please, man, I'll, man, I'll, I'll, send, I'll send you my old Logitech one when I get a new one. Okay. Ah, I, I may have to call it a day, actually, because I've got to go and get my son in about 10 minutes. So, um... oh, no problem. i got to get my wife her time, to, her, her night, wife time now. <laughs> 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 Again, the, the, uh, Mrs. CC is now rolling her eyes uh, and, 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 and slapping her forehead in the kitchen. <laughs> See, is, your is your camera dead? It's uh, hang on. Well, I, I, I shall try this. Uh, I'm not going to plug it out and plug it in again. But what I'm going to do is is uh, turn my camera on via the main app. Uh, oh, it works. The camera is working. It's just, it's just my my green screen app is is being a pain in the ass. Um, well, don't use the green screen then. Don't use the green screen. Uh, this is me. This is me naked, folks. Without <laughs> the green screen. No, I'm still frozen. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> that's weird. That's, 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 yeah, that's too weird. Let's go back. Let's go back. Go away. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> So by by next week, next next week on my, on my show, uh, I will be having a a um, musician and composer from my my friend's band um, in, in Tokyo, and he will be on, and my friend uh, the singer from the band Chuck the Magpie will be doing the translations for us because my Japanese is zero, and my and his English is not so fantastic, but they will be joining us. Um, Mr. Sugo Akiyoshi will be joining us, a music producer and uh, band member. So um, I'd like to thank. Uh, this is weird. Talking, talking in darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, talking, I'm talking to a temple right now. Yes, uh, I would like to thank Tokyo Joe for joining us, and I hope you all enjoyed the show. Uh, Tokyo Joe now has to go and and and. Um, White time. Uh, go to the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> and I I will see you all next week. And uh, thank you for coming, for joining us. Uh, and go and watch Tomo L's video when she bring, uh, uploads it. Watch mine um, first, though. Watch my well, video. Yeah, first. well, yeah, it's, it's a race now. I've I've now got to fix my camera and make a make a video question for Eric Surf Six, <laughs> uh, and go and pick my son up. Oh, it's it's all go. Um, thanks for thanks for having me, Simon. I've never done this before, so thanks for uh, you can me. you can sign off. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to switch that button. So, bye, folks. Thanks for joining, and uh, see you next week. And apologies for my camera. <laughs> bye. See you, Kennedy.